Welcome to Jade Empire, Bioware's new martial arts action role-playing game to be published by Microsoft on Xbox. Now, Bioware has a well-established reputation for doing stories and characters in its award-winning role-playing games like Baldur's Gate, Neverwinter Nights, and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In this demo, we're mainly focusing on the beautiful, fast-paced action combat in Jade Empire. Of course, Jade will feature an epic 30-plus hour storyline in the Bioware RPG tradition, and a brand new Bioware-created fantasy world inspired by Chinese and Asian myths and legends, martial arts movies and novels. Jade is a single-player, single-character action RPG. First off, we'll start by showing off character creation in Jade Empire. There are seven basic character appearances you can choose from and customize as to starting ability and starting styles. First character here is Wula Lotus Blossom. She represents a balanced and sensible approach to combat. She's both fast and powerful, but not exceptional in either category. She starts with a balanced range of starting styles. Next character is Boxer Lee. She's a very fast character. She relies on speed and quick defense in place of raw power. Next up we have Furious Ming. He represents the quintessential light and fast martial artist. May not be the strongest, but he attacks quickly and with more finesse than most. Next character is Lou the Prodigy. He's a balanced character, a master of neither attack or defense, melee or magic. Tiger Shen is a physical powerhouse. He excels in melee combat with slow, powerful attacks and excellent defense. We're going to start this demo out with Furious Ming, a very fast character. Of course, you can customize your starting abilities or starting styles. We're starting out in the Grandfather River region of the Jade Empire, near your character's starting town of Two Rivers, and near your martial arts school. The region's being invaded by evil Lotus Assassins. So we'll run right into combat to show how it works in Jade Empire. Off in the distance you see one of your followers launching an electrical attack in Storm Dragon style. Right off you'll notice that you can jump over the heads of your opponents and roll left and right on the fly. Jade is an action RPG, where the button presses equals action in combat. We'll switch to Paralyzing Palm style and show off a multi-style combo. First we paralyze the Lotus Assassin in Paralyzing Palm, then we switch to Legendary Fist and Shatter him. This is an example of emergence in gameplay with the multi-style combos in Jade Empire. Now we'll pause the action. You can pause at absolutely any time in Jade Empire in combat. So fans of turn-based RPGs will be able to take a thoughtful approach to combat, choosing their style and opponents while paused. However, action fans can play the game entirely in real time if they choose. In terms of the interface for Jade Empire, changing opponents is easy. Just use the right and left triggers, while changing styles is done easily via the D-pad. You'll also notice the user configurable camera. You can position it absolutely anywhere you like and it follows you around on a leash. It's a very smart and functional camera system, and we're putting in a lot of time and effort to ensure it's great. You also notice the bars at the bottom left. Red is your health, yellow is your focus, which you can use to slow down time, and blue is your chi, or your magical energy. Now we'll unpause and show off spear style. This is a great style for clearing away opponents because of its long reach. Long sword. Now we'll switch to long sword. This is a very elegant weapon, very fast and powerful. The styles have about four to seven moves each, so they're extremely accessible. If you slow down time in focus mode, then you can juggle your opponents in midair with carefully timed attacks. Paralyzing palm. Now we'll switch to Paralyzing Palm and Legendary Fist to finish off the last few opponents. You'll find as you play Jade Empire that the controls are really fluid and that responsive, and really easy to use. Legendary Fist! To you, all. you can learn some or all of the more than 30 fighting styles in the game, ranging from martial arts, weapons, to magic styles. All moves in Jade Empire are fully motion captured, so they are extremely smooth. The final enemy in this area is a Lotus Wizard. He uses a powerful magic style called Dire Flame to shoot fireballs at you and your followers. We're optimizing every build to ensure that Jade Empire runs at a silky smooth 30 frames per second. He's just charged up Flame Armor which will deliver fire damage to you if you attack him. In Dire Flame style, you can set your opponents on fire, and if you follow up with a clearing move, you can knock them backwards into other enemies to cause fire damage to them too. Remember kids, always stop, drop and roll if a Lotus Wizard sets you on fire. So we finished off the wizard with a powerful attack in Legendary Fist style, which caused him to explode. You'll see our attention to details on things like the injured animation. You can use Chi to heal your wounds with the white button on the Xbox controller.
You can pause and free look around the world whenever you want. You can see the trees slowly blowing in the wind and the beautiful physics-based cloth system, both on characters and in the world. You can also see advanced rendering features in this second-generation Xbox-optimized graphics engine. We have tons of advanced rendering features like naturally flowing cloth systems, bloom lighting, and rim lighting on characters. Now we'll show off some of the rich RPG system in this epic action RPG. First off, you'll see the character record page. On the top left, we have the primary ability scores of body, mind, and spirit. And the secondary ability scores derived from them, of health from body, focus from mind, which allows you to slow down time, and chi from spirit, which is your magical energy. The character advancement system in Jade Empire is accessible and yet has tremendous depth. You gain experience from defeating opponents and completing quests. When you level up, you gain ability points which can be assigned to your primary ability scores, plus style points which can be assigned to your styles in a style progression tree. Next up you see Jade Empire's journal page. You won't have to worry about keeping track of quests that are completed or in progress, as the journal will keep a detailed log of that for you. The next page is the collection system. You can collect quest items, weapons, and spirits, which are released by certain enemies when you defeat them, and which can be used in transformation styles, a type of magic style which we'll show later on in this demo. Here's the style page. Now there are over 30 fighting styles in Jade Empire ranging from weapon styles to martial arts styles to magic styles. You can level them up by assigning style points to them in their respective style progression trees. Now we're on the Dragon Amulet page. This is a very cool inventory system. Your Dragon Amulet has temporary and permanent slots in it. Gems can be purchased at stores or found on defeated enemies. With gems, you can increase your primary abilities of body, mind, or spirit, or the regeneration of secondary abilities of health, focus, or chi. Or gems can act as a potion, which replenishes health, focus, or chi when they are depleted. You can also add elemental attack damage or resistances such as fire, poison, or ice. Next up, we see the map page. We have a great map system in Jade Empire. It shows you the area that you've explored thus far, as well as the world map, showing you where you are in the Jade Empire. This is the save and load page. You can save and load anywhere you want in the game, there's no need to use save points. The last page we're looking at is the options page. We have 5-1 surround sound, we have 480p video, and though Jade Empire is a single player game, we have some cool new Xbox Live features such as downloadable content and tracking systems for competitive play. Next we'll jump to a temple in the land of Howling Spirits. This area is reminiscent of the architectural style of Tibet. You'll notice details here like the physics-based cloth and snow blowing in the breeze. Both respond naturally to changes in wind velocity. This area shows off magical styles and ranged attacks, using Wu the Lotus Blossom as the main character. Up ahead you'll notice a powerful enemy, the Executioner. You'll see that he's not taking any damage as Wu attacks him in Legendary Fist style. Through dialogue with local inhabitants, or just trial and error, you can find out that he's susceptible to fire damage. All dialogue in Jade Empire is full voiceover with lip syncing and detailed facial animation. You can deliver fire damage to the Executioner through a magic style, like Dire Flame, or by adding a fire gem to your Dragon Amulet. Wu is using focus mode to slow down time for your opponents. This is the yellow bar at the top of the screen. You'll see here how your fireball delivers physics-based knockback effects to your opponents. Spirit Thief. Spirit Thief is a style which works well with magical attacks. It drains chi, or magic energy, from your enemies, like these rat demons here, to replenish your store of chi. Dire flame. With Chi restored, you can quickly finish off this opponent. Using Fire Armor, you deliver fire damage to the Executioner when he attacks you. Oh. Oh. Ah, that's better. You can heal yourself with Chi and then use Focus Mode to run really fast through the areas you've already been to. This area shows off the beautiful environments you can explore in the 30 plus hour storyline of Jade Empire. The same writers who worked on past Bioware RPGs like Baldur's Gate, Neverwinter Nights, and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic are working on Jade's epic story. Next up we're going to visit a cave, which features a very tough boss monster from later in the game. Here we're playing as Tiger Shen. The artists on Jade Empire have put in tremendous effort into the environments to make them really come alive. The enemy ahead of us is a really tough toad demon. Nobody likes a toad demon. As we slow down time in focus mode, we can see the giant slimy tongue swatting at us. Attacks in Jade Empire are collision-based, so this enemy could damage not only you, but also his minions, and even the environment. 
You deliver a massive attack in Storm Dragon style, and yet he still doesn't seem too badly hurt. So we'll have to try Iron Palm instead. Though we can charge him and knock him down, he still seems fairly healthy. So we'll try a transformation style to transform into a demon form. We'll go head to head, mano a mano with this giant toad demon. This is how the spirit styles are used in the game. Transformation is very chi intensive, so you won't be able to stay in it long in the game. Though for the purposes of this demo, we've disabled chi usage for transformation styles. Fortunately, there are other ways to defeat this enemy. You could use some of the other 30 plus fighting styles, magic arranged attacks, martial arts attacks, transformation styles, weapon styles, or you could even use the environment against this enemy by knocking down some of the pillars of the room to bring the roof down on his head. Ah, this triggers an in-engine cutscene. There are hundreds of these throughout the game. That's it for our GDC demo. As you've seen, Jade Empire is an epic martial arts action role-playing game, the next RPG from Bioware. There's tremendous replay value in Jade because every character choice will play very differently. For example, you can role-play as a good or evil character, and there are multiple endings in the game, and there are great variations in tactics in combat depending on the styles you've chosen. Thanks for watching this demo. We'll see you in the Jade Empire.